coronavirus shutdown seems to be impacting every person and every business. That includes the Reed Park Zoo. Nine on your side's Brian Brennan checked in to see how the animals and the zookeepers are handling this unprecedented closure. The Reed Park Zoo has been closed for about a month. A lot of people wondering how the zoo is continuing to operate without visitors and do the animals miss us? Lions, tigers, and a new baby elephant. Life continues at Reed Park Zoo, even if there are no visitors to see it. I do think that some of the animals have noticed that um, we don't have visitors, and so our keepers have been providing lots of extra enrichment and stimulation for them. Animal care supervisor Rebecca Edwards says animals and staff are adjusting to new normals, like suiting up to protect big cats from COVID-19. That means we put on gloves, we have um, a face mask on, um, and um, in some of the animals we actually also have to put on coveralls when we're in that area, which then we take off when we leave. Social distancing already comes easy to some zoo inhabitants. We call those animals solitary. Uh, so some of the solitary animals are like tigers and jaguars, and uh, they really only come together for reproduction, and then other than that, they maintain separate territories. Others, like lions and elephants, rely heavily on family ties. Um, elephants are very social, and so um, the herd dynamics um, are something that's really important. Uh, they get a lot of different social interactions throughout the day, and definitely meeting the new baby um, has been uh, really interesting. Edward says the zoo relies heavily on ticket sales for funding. Um, there's always lots of stuff that's going on um, at the zoo, um, so especially um, baby elephants and all that stuff. We're really excited when people are going to be able to come back and visit us. She says donations would be appreciated at this time. Brian Brennan, Gig on 9, on your side.